<laughs> Hello everyone. Hope you all had a great Monday. For mine, it was not too bad. For being that it's Monday, it means time for spooky places. And this week we shall be visiting a few haunted hotels of Texas that uh, may be places where you may be visiting in the near future or may not want to visit in the new near future. And uh, these are just supposed hauntings, but most of them I picked were ones of uh, large amount of uh, things happening. And the first stop this week will be the Austin, Texas, the Driscoll Hotel. Heard a lot about this place. Owned by late cattle baron Colonel Jesse Driscoll. And it was opened in 1886. The Colonel himself has been seen visiting rooms on the top floor smoking a cigar. <laughs> and turning on lights. In the elevator, a man was witnessed leaving a car checking his watch. A small girl who liked to giggle a lot has been seen playing on the ground, the grand staircase. In room 29, a young woman shot herself in the stomach and was found several days later in the bathroom. The story has it that the woman has had been left at the altar, so she checked into the hotel and used her fiancé's credit cards to go on an elaborate shopping spree. She later returned to the room and killed herself. The staff have also seen a child's ball bouncing out of nowhere. The ball presumed to belong to the ghost of a child who had slipped on the stairs while playing with the ball. <laughs> now move to Dallas, Texas. The Hotel Lawrence. <clears throat> The second floor, which used to house a gambling casino, was haunted by the spirit of a man. On the tenth floor, a woman fell to her death in the 1940s. Guests have heard the sound of high heels walking across the lobby floor late at night. Heard voices and have felt cold spots. Laund laund uh, laundry, laund laundry carts have been reported to move by themselves. The front desk often gets calls from three rooms that no one has checked into. Supposedly, the door at room 1009 on the 10th floor gives resident resistance from the opposite side to the staff if they try to open it. A congressman reportedly committed suicide on the 10th floor. Female voices are heard in the halls. A man named Jack Jackson, who stayed in room 807, had a towel wrapped around his neck by an unseen hands. The hands belong to someone named Smiley, and if you try to unlock the door, it won't open unless you ask him nicely. Another man by the name of Berkshire was slipped by the neck in that room as well. <laughs> Interesting. And we move now to Galveston, Texas, the Hotel Galvez. I've heard about this place. The oldest hotel on the island, the Galvez Room 505, is said to be evil. Patrons supposedly feel so extremely uncomfortable that they leave early. The scent of Parthenius has been spilled in the room also. Room 500, a woman who had discovered that her fiancé's ship was lost at sea hung herself. The fiancé turned up alive, but the woman's ghost continues to haunt the halls. Staff has reported hearing whimpers and the apparition of a young woman in the halls. Phones ring in guest rooms, but when guests pick up, no one is on the other end. At the end of the hallway, there is a painting of 
Bernardo P. Galvez, for whom the hotel is named for, is said to be haunted and viewing the painting gives one an eerie feeling. Others claim that you must first ask the painting's permission to take its photo, or the photo won't turn out to be a good one. <laughs> and the last stop this week is Jefferson, Texas, the Jefferson Hotel. A former cotton warehouse, the management boasts of the many hotel hauntings on their website. Here's a list of paranormal occurrences that occur there. Room 5, a man in a long coat and high boots has been seen. Rooms 12 and 14, a woman with long flowing blonde hair haunts these rooms. It is believed that she was somehow connected with the bed in room 14, which used to be room 12. The woman also has been heard whimpering, whispering. Room 19, voices heard from empty room, a small woman who gives guests an icy touch has been seen. The hall in front of rooms 20 and 21 gave witnesses to a man wearing western clothing. Other hallways in the hotel have been the sight of sounds of cigars. <laughs> Eagling children, cries of mama, babies crying, doors opening and slamming shut, furniture being dragged across rooms, other phenomena reported, knocking on doors and walls, the sound of classical music that has no origin. Well, I hope you enjoyed the haunted hotels, and more will come this week. I'm wishing you all a spooky night. <laughs>